for the birthday celebration last April 12th and also for today and for the tremendous support Leslie has given us all the way along as this project has evolved. And we, we had a session here where we are talking about where we were going to hang it and Leslie said, this will be hanging here long after all of us are gone. Isn't that a wonderful thought? Just a beautiful thought. In a way. Uh, <laughs> Mostly. I, I want to thank Nancy Donovan and Trina Daigle for the refreshments. That's a big help. There's some special people here that I want to introduce. This is uh, my very good dear friend, Jean Parnell. Hold your hand up. And uh, my granddaughter-in-law, Caitlin Parnell. And our three unveilers, Megan Parnell, <laughs> Abigail Parnell, and Gabriella Parnell, of my three of my great granddaughters. So that's a very, very special thing. Uh, I'll just tell you very briefly how all this evolved. Uh, at the uh, birthday celebration, uh, some people, instead of giving gifts to me, I said, give some, a donation to the library because they're hosting us and they can always use the money. And I thought, <laughs> You know, I thought it was going into the general operating fund. Leslie came to me and she said, I've got all this money. What do you want me to do with it? What books do you want me to buy? I'm surprised you didn't take off the tea of one. <laughs> well, you know, I'm a book person. But I said, I don't want any books. A book of poetry sits on the shelf. How many people take it out every year and read it, you know? I said, my target is a person who never reads poetry. Not for any special reason, maybe. They just don't see any need to read poetry. And I said, this is a visual age we live in, and I want some art that's going to get a person's attention, and when they stand there looking at it, they're reading a poem before they know what they're doing. <laughs> Isn't that sneaky? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of anybody better to honcho this than Mark DeCarterat, who has a lot of experience with what they call ekphrastic poetry. That's a Greek word, and it means combining two different genres. So whatever you're writing about, whether it's poetry in food, or poetry in sculpture, or poetry in flowers, it's ekphrastic poetry. And if you, some of you will remember, when he was at Portsmouth Poet Laureate, he had the postcard project, which combined art and poetry, and turned out to be a wonderful project. And so I talked to him about it, gave him my ideas, and I said, can you get us an artist? And he said, ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> and he recruited, as he told you, he recruited his good friend, Mark. Now, what we have here on the uh, table are some uh, they call them, what do they call them in politics, grip cards or something like that? You, know, you hand the person your card and say, I'm so Joe Blow and I'm running for selectman. You know? Well, we figured we'd have something here that people could pick up and take home, that the library could have, so that anyone who was interested in it could take it home. You'd have the poem, you'd have one of, one of Mike's drawings. I especially love the tractor. And the tractor and the poem are going to be in the next issue of the Poets' Touchstone, which is the quarterly journal of the Poetry Society of New Hampshire. Um, so this was what we planned to do. Now, a couple of other people I'd like to meet, my son Ed Parnell, Ed, where'd you go there? And my niece Sarah Parnell, or Sarah Ailey, I'm sorry. There she is. And I'll tell you, right behind Paul here are some books that I brought in. And if any of you don't have my books, I'd love to have make you a gift of, of one or two of them. Please just one of each to a family, if you don't mind. Uh, so pick those up if you have, don't have the book already. Uh, I'd be glad to, to share it with you and let me know what you think of the poems. And let's see, did I have anything else I wanted to say? We're uh, really looking forward to this whole event, and I'll turn it back to Mark, who's going to introduce our artist.